Yeah, hi. Uh, today we will see about this object reference not set to an instance of an object. Okay, so this is a regularly we are getting this kind of uh, issue. So what is it? So many people are getting this type of issue, the error. So the object reference not set to an instance on uh, of an object. Okay, so this is like a, this is a meaningless error. So it does not have a meaning. So let us see. So because you don't you don't know when the object is not initialized. So let us see. So what in the object oriented programming languages? So suppose for example in the in the here in UI path is built on top of the dot net, right? So object oriented programming. So what is the object? So the object is a uh, this package of uh, uh, some functionalities, some functionalities. Okay. Right, so each object has a uh, the is like a, the bundle of some packages, okay, and multiple packages. So now, see here, there is a uh, any object. So if you take the any object, the object has a some properties or functionalities. So if you don't initialize, suppose for example, while we are just uh, doing the starting programmings, so you are initializing the variables like a int i equal to 10 so int j equal to 20 so k equal to i plus j so 20 and plus 10 so it will give the result as a 30 okay so in the same way how you are declaring the variables and assigning the values in the same way if you declare the object the object so you are not assigning initialize any value to that particular object then that is called it will give the object reference not set to an instance of objects okay here if you observe, so I declare a variable. Suppose, for example, this is a A. Okay, A is on variable. That is a data type object. A is a data type object. The data type has a some mechanism. See, if you just see data table, data table in shishop.net, so you can see. So there is a lot of functionalities are there. A lot of methods and uh, say so if you just observe here, the methods of data tables. Uh, this compute method is there. Okay, get row type. So okay, these are all the methods are available. So it is like a, so it has a lot of functionalities. So to utilize those functionalities, you have to initialize the value. So if you just declare the int a, so you are not assigning the any value. So that is called object reference, not set to an instance. You are not setting the reference. Okay, uh, to the instance. Suppose, for example, see here in the A, A is a data table, but the without A is a actually null, right? See here, suppose uh, int str or string str is equal to null, then or nothing, and you're just simply declaring the str dot to lower or contains this word or not okay so what we are checking is so without initializing anything you are initializing nothing and uh, you're just trying to extract the value or using the that particular functionality now see here without un initializing the any value you just are you just assigning the you're just trying to retrieve the count okay so that is the one thing suppose for example you have to observe so let's try another one is like a so all cities Okay, so all cities. This is a basically a list of uh, system dot collections dot generic dot list. So this is a list of strings. Let us see list of strings. This is one object. Okay, this uh, all cities is one object. Suppose for example, all cities is a what type of object it is? It is a list of strings object. Okay, the list of strings, uh, the collection list contains is a methods. Suppose for example. Uh, all cities dot length okay or count okay so this will retrieve the how many number of items are available in this particular list currently we assign the we created the variable but not assign anything okay see object reference not set to an instance of object okay so because you just initially created a variable created an object but not initialized anything or so you have to initialize suppose for example if you just uh, uh, here itself if i pass the some values let's let's uh, uh, let's add the initialization for this all cities 
new list list of strings so this is the initialization so if i just run now initialization is happened so it's not empty so now it is uh, extracted the actual zero c zero so now this we can utilize those functionalities if you initialize the value or assign the value to that particular object now contains so that particular uh, kvc so word or not okay so this will return the um, true or false value understand it is a returning the false because that does not have any anything suppose if i remove this initialization and try to run what it will throw it is not initialized that mean this will come as an object reference not set to an instance of a on an object in the same way suppose you just declare the dictionary dict uh, some variable and create a dictionary like is the collection of dictionary key value pair string comma string i'm just assigning the string comma string and try to dict of dict dot, uh, dot keys dot count you're you're utilizing the variable uh, object but you are not initialize the object okay you declare declaration means you just created the object but you are not initialize the object okay so but here you're getting the the exception suppose if you how can you initialize the objects or assign the objects like a um so what is that some new dictionary new dictionary of string comma string comma string okay so now let us try to run this one so we initialize the object so it won't throw the object reference not set to an instance of object okay this initialization is a uh, important now let us go to the any any folder suppose for example here is a folder right let's copy paste copy so suppose uh, uh, let's take this is a list this is a list right all files okay that is a list this is a list if i just go to the all files uh, dot count okay all files dot count you are utilizing the 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 functionalities but here it, it is saying the object reference not set to an instance of object now just drag and drop the on another one so instead of all files new these things and all so directory dot get files of that particular path dot to list okay so we are assigning the values now let's try to run what will happen it will show all the numbers how many files are there in this folder it will show so you can utilize suppose for example what is the name of the um, the last one suppose for example uh, two the second one the second path second path you can just do whatever uh, see, see the path is a uh, okay so if you don't assign or this is a assign okay. this is assign the values to the object so if you don't assign anything and trying to access that particular value or functionality it will throw the object reference not set to an instance of object so yeah we have to check what where is the initialization is not happening thank you very much